way in which electricity is distributed, and has always been distributed, is unchanging. It flows in one direction, like a river, from the production site to the customer's premises, where it is used. An electricity grid which is able to handle the variable needs of each region with the same degree of efficiency. As it is not possible to store electricity, it is essential that the level of production matches the level of consumption. The aim is to prevent the local grid from becoming unstable and to avoid power surges and dips, as well as the ensuing breakdowns which can occur. Time-related variations linked to the move from day to night also have to be taken into consideration. Electricity use has changed considerably since the 1950s. Infrastructure has accompanied these changes. Today, the 700,000 km medium voltage grid is managed by 30 watchtowers, or regional operating offices, which are spread throughout the entire country. A total of 100,000 control switches are managed remotely by these offices. In the event of an incident, these control switches allow the power supply to be re-established within a few minutes. Our teams are thereby able to repair the grid without disturbing any customers. However, if the incident occurs locally, only the customer is in a position to inform us about it. Our current goal is to improve the quality and reliability of the supply of electricity by strengthening the management of the local network as far as the customer's meter. We shall face other challenges in the future. First challenge, the rapid development of renewable energy sources. The consumer is becoming a producer of electricity by connecting solar panels to a grid which was not designed for this purpose. With over 100,000 new solar installations a year, balancing supply and demand is increasingly complex and has to be managed locally. Renewable energy sources are not continuous, subject to changes in the weather and therefore hard to predict. Solar energy only produces electricity in broad daylight, at a time when householders use little electricity as they're not at home. Second challenge, over the next 10 years, Two million electric vehicles are expected to come on the roads of France. This development will therefore present a new challenge to balancing the grid. Electric recharging operations will be mobile and unpredictable. Drivers will want to recharge their vehicle at home in the evening, but also at the office, in the street, in a car park, and even when driving to their holiday destination. We have two solutions. Either we strengthen the grid to manage these peaks in consumption and bear very heavy new infrastructure costs, or we design a fully controllable grid. A fully controllable grid is known as a smart grid and comprises a combination of IT and electronic equipment that is used to manage the electricity grid. The key part of this system is your electricity meter, which will send and receive data remotely. The smart grid will let us detect a power surge caused by the production of too much electricity and immediately apply the best solution. We will be able to switch electric equipment on, such as your water heater, or tell your electric vehicle's battery to store power. In the event of a power dip, 
the same meter will inform the consumer that electricity consumption will be lowered temporarily. Likewise, when consumption peaks, your supplier will be able to contact you and ask you to turn off some of your equipment. This new technology will shape the way grids shall look in the future. In France, 35 million smart meters will allow a balance to be struck between electricity production and consumption. A grid managed for everyone and capable of integrating and supporting our electricity consumption habits today and in the future. <laughs>